the ultimate handheld, in my opinion, the Game Boy. Now, the Game Boy was made in eight in nineteen eighty nine. Oh, stupid me! Yep, I was say I, I was about to say eighteen eighty nine, but video games never existed that far. Anyways, <clears throat> so I'm. This was created to celebrate Nintendo's 100th anniversary. You know, 1889, 1989, it's 100 years. Well, I think that's what they were going for. <clears throat> it could be a coincidence, but I don't know. I don't think it is. Now, I think, I think Nokia had something to do with this Game Boy. Because this Game Boy survived an explosion some kind of bomb explosion, and it still works. I'll put a picture on it in a second. This is the picture of the Game Boy that um, was in a bomb explosion, and it still works. I feel like Nokia had something to do with it. <clears throat> I mean, come on. Their phones are... Are like blockbuster stickers stuck on Nintendo 64 cartridges. Unless you use the right tools to break them or something like that. Who knows. And now let's talk about some Game Boy accessories. Okay. So. Um, Game Boy. The Game Boy has like. Has like um, a bunch of accessories. Now some people know the Handy Boy. And. I like the name of the company, honestly, because it's so stupid. The name of the company is STD. STD? STD? Who in the right mind would name their game company STD? Yes, I watch AVGN. I do. Yeah, oh, God. It's like 12.45 a.m., but whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, handy boy, he, it, it's, it's not really handy, I mean like this, there's stereos and new set of controllers, but the, but D-pad and the buttons, they work just fine, and then there's like a magnifying glass, you know, in case if the screen is like way too small, and then there's like a light where you can where it could be like brighter <clears throat> and then you have to connect it to the to the place where you um put the batteries in the game boy and that's stupid hard i i think <clears throat> anyways and then there's and then it's like there's only, it's like the, it's kind of like the handy boy but only has, it only has like one feature which is <clears throat> increasing the size of the screen. It's like a magnifying glass. It works. I think you'll need two AA batteries, though, for the light. I don't remember, but yeah. And then there's this one's called the Booster. It's like Handy Boy, but better. Once again, um, new controls. Uh, stereo. Like, there's speakers, and then, like, a screen, I guess, I guess, like, another magnifying glass thingy with a light thingy. Yeah. It holds two games, though. Yeah. That's an improvement. The music, it's pretty loud. So... That's kind of dumb, considering you would just be playing a foot away. But unless if the audio is, like, really, really crappy, I guess that would work. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, and then um, there's, like, the Game Boy camera, where you can take a picture. And there's, like, some mini games. That, it's like that one, it's like that one iconic Star shooter game. It's for you. You're on a rocket and you just shoot a bunch of alien stuff. Yeah, 
I think it's called Space Invaders. It's probably called that. I don't know the name, though. I, 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 I think it's Space Invaders. It's probably that. Anyways. <laughs> and then there was another accessory, which has a bunch of, a bunch of cheat codes. So then... Yeah, it's... Uh, there's like a... There's like a little cheat book thingy. But you can like... Uh, I don't know how to word it, but like... Like, so... Uh, there's a little book where you can find some cheat codes on it. And then there's also a place where you can put it in so you won't be able to lose it. It's pretty clever. Although it just... I mean, it does, I mean, it's, I don't know. I'm trying to say, like, how um, it won't, like, uh, cover the fact that you're cheating. Like, there's, like, some kind of accessory there, and it just shows that you're cheating. And no one's going to care because, I mean, come on, look, come on. Look at the generation we're living in. Come on, do you think anyone's going to care? No, because people are so butthurt nowadays. It's just, oh my God. That was kind of off topic, but yeah. And then, there's this one. It's like, where you put your Game Boy in shoes. Like, there's like a slot for the game. It's like a slot for where you could put your Game Boy in. You know, so you could like, Instead of putting it in your pocket, you just put it in your shoe. You just grab the Game Boy out of your shoe. Just don't jump in puddles. And yeah. And then there's... And then this one. <clears throat> it's... I think it was called the Sedate Cup. It's where you, where you play the Game Boy, connect it to the to the cup thingy, and then it reduces, it releases lava gas or oxygen. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that. And, and I, I, I was actually pretty shocked when I first heard that. I was like, who the hell made that? Who thought of that? I mean, it wasn't released, but someone actually thought of that. Very interesting. Oh, yes. And then, um, some dude took the Game Boy to space, played Tetris on it. I forgot who, who, what his name was, but I knew it. I think his first name was Alexander. Something like that. I think it was Korean, too. I don't know. But, yeah. Yep. And that's why I think the Game Boy is, like, the ultimate handheld. I mean, it kind of is, honestly. <clears throat> but yeah, those are my pink, my thoughts of this, the Game Boy. It's golden. And yeah, that's all for today.